Hey, water signs. How you guys doing? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, let's see what we're doing today. Um, feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. Um, those of you who have wanted to be in the plutonic relationships versus twin flame relationship um, class, I feel it's closed. Okay, but I might do another um, round of it, or I might bundle it up with the spiritual ascension class. Uh, so you'll see that soon. I'm probably going to do that anyway, but if you're watching this and you want the class on plutonic relationships, it might already be closed. So we're trying to limit the uh, enrollment so people can ask questions. Anyway, that's um, what's going on. Also, been getting a lot of questions about private readings now that we're getting... Um, so much information about toxic or karmic relationships and the astrology thereof. And um, I'm not doing private readings. I would recommend you join Patreon and do the Thursday uh, lives because I do pull cards and ask and for people's questions, okay? So if you want to join Patreon, I believe it is the 2222 level or the 3333 level. I'm not sure. But you'll also get the um, individual Zodiac readings I'm about to put up a mid-month video that has all the zodiac signs in it in Patreon, just guidance for you in mid-month, especially as we're moving into this Uranus retrograde period. It's going to push you out of your comfort zone for the rest of the year, okay? Carve out a lot of self-care time, please, okay? Why? Why did this happen? Why is this going on? Never-ending story. Oh, my God, so much frustration. Ugh. How do you move forward? Okay, I feel like, um, so something has ended or you've been through another relationship that has brought the same toxic cycle. And you're like, okay, uncle, why does this keep happening? What is going on with this? Because in order to imagine a better future, um, you're trying to come to the situation, come to some closure. And I feel like that gets us stuck in these toxic relationships. But I'm going to say this. Here's a really, this is a little bit of a way to get over a heartbreak or get over a heartache. And in a, in a very straightforward way, I want you to write down everything that was awful about that person. Everything that didn't work. Okay, I want you to put that list in your phone. Write a memo to yourself or text to yourself. And every time you are trying to understand why it didn't work out and they were so great, I want you to go back and read that list, okay? And I also want you to understand that you don't need to continue to dig for more answers about them. It would be good for you to know about yourself, okay? It would be good for you to understand like, okay, this didn't work. Why didn't that work for me? But leave them out of it because that it it you'll only get to go forward if you realize and just accept the answer when why is this breaking up or why isn't this working just sort of accept the answer even if you have it cuz your drive to know the deeper answer assuming there is one is a way of holding on okay something's over just accept the answer and then look at yourself in terms of the situation because I feel like some of you are really going around and around and around not only in your own mind about a past relationship that ended but you could be attracting more of the same kinds of relationships more of the same energies um, by doing that so instead if you want to attract a happy relationship something that's better for you you're gonna have to put these things to bed and you're gonna have to sort of do some aversion therapy. You're going to have to write down everything that sucked about that person. It was terrible about them. That was just annoying and difficult and everything. And don't go, oh, but they were just so wonderful. Mm -mm. You know why it's called a breakup? Because it's broken. All right. There's something not right with that connection. Can it teach you lessons? Of course it can. Is there a reason that person was in your life? Most likely, especially if it was plutonic in nature. Okay, we'll do another class around plutonic relationships because it gets people stuck because they're so powerfully intense and there's a longing and you think maybe that's my twin flame and oh my God, I can't let this go. 
But if you, if you understand the astrology of things, the astrology of things will show you in more definitive way um, the combination of astrology and numerology and tarot to me is the thing that helps you move forward. Okay? Ace of Wands. New beginning. King of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Okay. So there's definitely some moving forward here. Your ex could be a, a Sag, Aries, Leo. I feel like if you lied to them or they lied to you or something like that, you might have the urge to clear the air. Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Swords. I feel like you definitely think this person was your twin flame. And that's why you get kind of stuck in it, okay? Ace of Cups. There's something new. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Strength. Leo energy. So you might have been with the wrong fire sign. Four of Coins, Two of Cups, Holding Back, Four of Swords. So this is going to give you, a, this is great. This is going to give you a great opportunity to heal this situation. Um, a lot of you are getting stuck because you thought they were perfect. Newsflash, they were not perfect. Okay? I feel like the universe is saying to you, the thing to learn about this situation, you might want to reach out and text them or something like that. Okay? It's not about their answer. They could have lied or cheated. You could have lied or cheated, something like that. And so you want to make amends. You want to make this better. But it's really just about your own ego. It's really about making you feel better. But it's never, you know, so, okay, so they say to you, all right, I accept your apology. Bye now. Is that going to satisfy you? I don't think so. I think what you're wanting is the person to say, oh, well, that's different. Now that you're apologizing, let's get back together. But that's not what's going to happen here. That's not what's being um, offered to you. What's being offered to you is something far better. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Somebody coming in who is of higher vibration. This other relationship, you still look back to that other fire sign. You're still looking back. Okay, see the Leo energy. See how she's looking back? And there's that Knight of Cups coming up. I feel like you continue to look back. Don't look back, okay? I'm going to write that down. Don't look back, okay? Um, don't look back in the sense that you want that to get back together again. You can look back in the sense of why and what's this about. But then, like I said, accept the answer of why it broke up. Accept it. Be like, okay, this didn't work. What can I learn from this? And how can I, how can I um, employ these changes to myself that really will have some lasting healing impact for me so that I can move forward? There is a Leo. I see Sag, Aries, Leo here. I see all three. So you could have been with a fire sign, and now you're moving toward another fire sign. Maybe you were just with, with the wrong fire sign. Okay? holding back on love because you're hoping this other person from the past shows up again. No. King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Chariot, King of Swords. Okay. So this person is going to behave now like King of Swords. Okay. And you should too. Just the facts. Get the facts. Incorporate the learning. See the lesson. Okay, this person could fire or they could have earth energy. It's done. Okay, it's D-U-N. Dunsky. Chariot. It's time for you to move forward to victory in your own life. Okay, and there is a move forward toward that Leo. Okay, that is where you're going. Ding! That is where you're going. And it's with 100% in your, whoopsie, in your own um, power. So what you're going to need to do is, I'll do this, you're going to need to imagine. So the King of Swords is, gets really clear. Okay, well, there was a lot of hidden agendas in that relationship. 
there was a lot of lying, manipulation, um, power games, whatever it was. You got to see it. You got to put it, you know, don't like ruminate. King of Swords doesn't ruminate. King of Swords goes, okay, yeah, I cheated. Yep, I lied. I manipulated. Yep, they were um, a gambling addict. Yep, they did this. Yep, it. Very cold. No emotion around it. No. Because that's the point of it is to move you forward, not hold you back. Okay? So do that inventory and then write that list of all the terrible things about the ex so that you can move forward. Okay? Yeah. Because the only way to get moving forward toward love is to heal and healing is about um, letting go. So you might need some help because you see the six of swords here, how the guy is, is moving her in the boat and then this six of pentacles is helping out the people in need. You may need some help with this because I feel like for quite a few of you, you thought that you know, looking back on it, you might behaving like it was the perfect relationship, or you might think that that's your twin flame or something like that. But the purpose of this relationship, one of the purpose purposes is for you to see lessons and incorporate them and move forward in divine timing. That's one of the reasons that you got to get out of this never ending story um, loop because it's time to move forward. Okay. Okay. All right. If you want to continue on with me in the reading, I'm going to look at uh, Leo. I'm going to look at a fire sign in the future and they could have, um, I don't know why I just think Gemini fire sign in the future. There could be some air sign too. The past is fire sign earth. The future is fire sign air. Okay. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay. All right, my darling link is below for you. For the extended read, I'll see you over there.